My name Martha Brantley. The white folks call me Ang Martha. I was 100 years old. I was the slave for Dr. Lucas of Mount Meigs. Our master was so good to all his niggas. Us allers had plenty to eat and plenty to wear. But the days now is hard. If white folks give you a nickel or a dime to get something to eat, you have to write everything down in a book before you can get it. I always worked in the field, had to carry big logs, put straps on my arms, and then logs was put into straps and hauled to a pile where they all was. One morning it was raining, and I didn't want to go to the field, but the overseer, he come and get me and started whooping me. I jumped on him and bit him and kicked him till he let me go. I didn't know no better then. I didn't know he was the one to do that, but Master Lucas gave us big times on Christmas in July. Us would have big dinners and all the lemonade us could drink. The dinner would be spread out on the yard, and all the niggas would stand round and eat all they wanted. What was left, us would take to our cabin. Nancy Lucas was to cook for everybody. Well, she'd show sure cook good cake and had plenty of them, but she wouldn't let you cut them cakes often. She kept them in a safe. One day I go to that safe and I seed some, and I wanted it so bad till I just had to have me some. Nancy says to me, Martha, did you cut that cake? I says, no, sir. That knife just flew round by itself and cut that cake. One day I was working in the field, the overseer, he come round and say something to me and had no business say. I took my hoe and knocked him plumb down. I knowed I'd done something bad, so I run to the bushes. Mars Lucas come and get me and started whooping me. I say to Mars Lucas what that overseer says to me, and Mars Lucas didn't hit me no more. Mars Lucas was always good to us, and he wouldn't let nobody run over his niggas. There was plenty of white folks that was so bad to the niggas, and especially them overseers. A nigger what lived on the plantation, Jim and ours, shot and killed an overseer. Then he run away. He came to the river and see the white man on the other side and say, come and get me. Well, when they did get him and found out what he done and was going to burn him alive, Judge Cummins, the man that keep law and order, said he wouldn't burn a dog alive, so he left. But they sure burned that nigga alive, for I seed him after they burned him up. Us would go to meeting in the Antioch church some Sundays. Us would go to the house and get a pass. When us would pass by the patter roll and just hold up our pass and then us would go on. That was a vat and twix. The niggas and the white folks. The white preacher pre, then the colored man. Us would stay at church most all day. When we didn't go to church, us would get together in the quarters and have preaching and singing amongst ourselves. In cotton picking time, us would stay in the field till way out of dark, and us would pick by candlelight and then carry it and put it on the scaffold. In the winter time, us would quilt, just go from one house to another to do in the quarters. Us at weave all over every day, clothes, but Master Lucas go to Mobile every July and Christmas and get our Sunday clothes, get us dresses and shoes, and we'd sure be proud of them. In slavery time, they doctored the sick folks different from what they does now. I see the man so sick they put, had to put medicine down his throat like a horse. That man got well and sure lived to turn a key into jail. If and it was in these days, that man would be carried to the hospital and cut open like a hog. There was a slave that lived in Macon County. He run away, and when they catched him, they dug a hole in the ground and put him across it and beat him near to death.